Alright then, so... I'm done fooling around for this point. Let's go on to phase 3 of the game. Do, 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 do. Isn't loading always fun? Now, I will note that the next part of the game, basically, is going to lock us out of, like, all the previous parts of the game we've been in. That's the idea of, like, you know, going like, the, into, like, this phase of the game. We basically get locked out of, like, all the places we, we've been to, but, um... For the most part, it's a fairly interesting game we're about to jump into. Yeah, of course, my niece is playing, so I have to change the mouse here. Alright, let's see here. So, I think I'm pretty good to go, so let's get to it, shall we? Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Perspective. Fortitude. Entropy. Pencil. Perspective. Fortitude. Entropy. Pencil. There we go, it's unlocked. Time to jump into deep storage. So every spit of census data is generated aboard TELUS-1 is captured and backed up into deep storage. safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just... not yourself. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos 1 had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. Alright, well. Right, interesting, like, you know, entry into, like, the deep storage based on a nightmare chasing us right away. So, I'll note the thing about the nightmare, by the way. There's basically two ways of, like, you know, dealing with it. One is basically you kill it. And the other is basically you just avoid it. Now, you can basically easily avoid by, like, jumping back out of, like, the level, but... That's actually not possible with, like, you know, these stores because when we basically jump into, like, this area, the Nightmare basically will be, like, you know, in here and, like, you know, you can't get, like, back out of that door, basically, because the, like, you know, door's basically locked it, like Alex. So, I'm basically hiding in this tunnel here, waiting for him to go away. This is a really bad time for a Nightmare to appear, but oh well. So, yes. The waiting game. We wait for loading. Now we're waiting for a nightmare. It won't take too long, Bob. We're just gonna wait for like a minute here, and this guy will be like gone. So, literally, all I have to wait for is just a minute. Do, 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 do. Take a swig of water, all this other good stuff, you know.
Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. Yeah, I love all the audio clips I just keep playing because you know, as you're supposed to, as you like move through yourself, you're supposed to gain like these audio clips played, but you know, this guy here is sort of like, you know, thrown that out of the window for the most part. Alright, well. Welcome to, to uh, the deep storage. There's the Hunter's Blowcaster, of course. Alright, so let's bring out the treasure map, because this guy's basically part of it, but whatever. Terrible access key code, that's always good to find. Alright, now, I'm not sure if you noticed it, but as we basically went to deep storage here, there's basically like, you know, other enemy space are running about. There's a mimic. It sounds like there's some corrupted stuff here as well. Alright, so there's a tactile path scanned. New psionic aptitude available. Kill that guy for now. Alright, he's got his powers back. Alright, there we go. Oh, you note that the turret's basically back online. And it's like uncorrupted. One of the nice things basically about like you know fight tech capacity is you don't kill the turrets themselves, then like you know generally it'll be okay. Alright, well. No, no, fun stuff in here. Alright, well, um, there's still gonna be more stuff in here to do basically deal with, but, um, well, until we basically deal with it, I guess. By the way, here's like a. This is basically where I was, I was basically hiding from like the nightmare in here. There's like a little pathway basically to take to get like, you know, through here over here. Those things for now.
Hello, Dr. Hughes. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Oh, there's a science operator. I'm not sure if that's the first one we've basically seen, because we basically saw one right, right at the very start of the game, but, you know, this will be like the first one we'll be able to interact with, I guess, to do stuff. Coming through. Conducting an experiment today? Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. So, another thing you have like the science opera is that they basically help you when you basically have like, you know, um, lower psi. So, this guy can basically like replenish your psi like the full whenever you need to, which is very nice. We go, it's Detective Path Corpse. Now, I'll note that I don't really like the radioactive waste being here because it can get damaged and, you know, start leaking, but oh well. You didn't get damaged now, so that's at least one good thing to say about this like fight we basically had here. Oh, you know, all the explosives basically in here. I'll be very careful in this area. Alright, so, I'll note that basically once you basically get to this level here, um, you'll basically come down to these doors and it'll be like, you know, to unlock these doors, you have to, like, you know, go up, basically, up here to do stuff. So, we have to do a whole lot of objectives here to do stuff here, so, up we go. Two oh seven one. Whoops. I did that wrong. All right, we'll have to just jettison stuff for a moment. You know, what's really interesting about this like area right here is that this is like an office. Someone, someone didn't actually have like their own office or, like cubicle. They have to like you know work here. So yeah, checklist here, stuff right here. I'll see that there for now, I guess. I'll come back basically start picking up stuff, but you know. Huh, there's the engineering operator up there. Now, if I recall, there's basically something in here over here. Possibly. Okay, I saw a mimic somewhere. Oh, okay, over there, that's fine. Now, if I recall correctly, there's basically going to be fabricate and recycle over in this direction, so... Scan complete. Alright, I was in our thermal phantom scanned. Psionic aptitude available. Operator approach. Ah, 
Uh, I suppose the best thing to do here is basically to kill this, like, you know, Mimic here first, so... There goes that. All right, how to deal with this guy? I think I'll probably know we transfer this guy, or oh, there is more mixing here, so. Whoop! He saw that. Alright, well, there will be more guys to fight, but, um, that effectively clears this level out like too much hassle, I guess. Alright, so yes, basically we have a recycler in here. So I can make use of this basically to, like, you know, recycle unneeded stuff I always, uh, like, you know, get access to. I'm not gonna split this, actually. I know that suit, they, like suit repair kits are important, but you know, not as important right now. So, you know, not big of a deal. By the way, note that in this area right here, I want to be very careful that um, that like you know, fire phantom because essentially you've got like you know, lots of like this oil spilt all over, over the place because it's basically like, you know, the workstation area here. And you really don't want to basically have this guy like you know, dropping stuff on you. So. Alright, awesome. Weapon upgrade kit. And look at that, I can fabricate Q beam cells. Hooray! Alright, oh, what do I need a weapon upgrade kit for at this point? At this point, it's been like fully upgraded. The shotgun's been fully upgraded. Well, whatever. I guess I have a free upgrade kit to make use of if I want to at some point. Oh, here's a security key for the, you know, security station. Let's pick that up so we can get into a security station. Pick these recycler charges. There's a Hunter's Bullcaster. Something for wrenches, basically. I'm not wrench critical, this makes it so I mean, like you swing a wrench, you have an increased chance for crickling with it, so that's all that basically does. Recycle charge fabrication plan. I think I already had that, but I'll just take it anyways. Like the neuro mosque is why not? That green tea. Drop this, drop this, drop this, drop this. I don't think I need to hunt this ballcast right now, so we should be fine just throwing it in here. Alright, now I will note something by the way. There's basically this door here, and it's basically like, you know, lock of like, you know, a little four security like hack thing. I basically want to get into this, and to get basically into it, you have to basically go all the way up here. 
literally all the way up there basically to get into like that like you know area right here so we're gonna do a little bit of like you know um first person Hello, Dr. parkour as well call it platforming that's what we call it so we're just gonna do a quick save right here because this is gonna suck I'm gonna tell it right now right for, for you guys Basically to like get to where I need to go. Inspecting. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. I'll fix that. Repair complete. I literally have to go like, you know, all the way up over here. Oh, I know there's like, you know, stuff happening over the place in here, so. There we go. Alright, now. There we go. That's basically how get in here, by the way. Just, like, platform a little bit. Can you put these in a safe, please? Thanks. Basically, there's some Typhoon Lures and EPMP charge. Now, this is an important area, basically, for, like, the volunteer dot base. It'll be part of like objective faces later on, so let's keep that in mind. But whatever. Now I want to look at the safe here. You only get the key code if you basically do like you know um, some stuff basically like in a specific order in like the living quarters. Basically, you have to get this from Daniel Short, show who's basically like you know on the opposite side of the fitness center. And in order for her to give you the key card, you basically have to kill the cook, and you have to basically already have access to, like, you know, um, the spoof, like, you know, password for, like, getting into, like, deep storage. If you have those basically done, she'll basically give you the key code, and I basically have it already, because, like, you know, that's how I basically did it, like, when I basically redid, like, this level. And, yeah, in case you missed it, by the way, um, essentially, I had to go through, like, you know, the living quarters again to, like, get like, my, like, you know, my stats, basically, for, like, the humans killed. I was basically trying to aim to get like 24 kill and I basically have it now, so I basically fixed it by like going back to like, you know, get stuff basically done. Anyhow, it's done. Some cardboard boxes around, I guess. I don't know anyone left to pass around for this one here, so you probably just need a hacking skill to get in here, so all I can really say about this area right here. Alright, let's just go collect stuff basically I've been leaving behind, so take this stuff. Take the duck beer here. Oh, look at the chairs you basically sitting on. That's your chair. You'll basically read like in the emails like, you know, basically that person up there, she's like got no office and they're like, you know, the other workers have to complain about like, she should have an office at least. I think that's basically a security officer by the way up there. So, the security officer didn't have her like, you know, own desk. But tis life, you know, sometimes stuff like that happens. You know, I really don't like this guy being here because he could accidentally hit something I want him to, so... We're just gonna move him to uh, somewhere else where he won't be an issue. Over here is fine. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6 online.
Now I will not buy if I really want to. It's totally possible for me like to use the bulk house to get in here, but you know, we don't really need to, so. I'm just gonna get in here this way. Oh, here's a medical opera if I need it. Fried hard drive, shotgun shell fabrication. Alright, well, we gotta do some stuff there, but whatever. Here's the area map for for deep storage, by the way. It's a very small area, this place, because basically you have, like, you know, this level. You have, like, the next level up here. You have, like, the actual, like, you know, deposit depository. But, whatever. Oh, right, here's, like, the crew members here. So you have, like, you know, all these people here. There's, like, a couple more people you used to miss. Andrew Gray and, like, your candy, so... Alright, let's just see here. I think at this point we just want to go, like, you know, salvage what I basically have already, so... Let's just salvage what we got. Throw stuff in here. You know, I'm actually tempted to use this on, like, you know, um... The Q beam or stuff like that. The glue gun, I basically have access to building it yet, which I don't. I have access to the glue canisters, but not the actual glue gun yet, so whatever. Download station. Personal tracking. Actually, I want to know if there's actually an objective here for personal tracking. Um. On no power is basically like, you know, the, um, the, um, this guy's like tracking place has been deactivated, so 1129. If you go here, you can basically activate it, so. You can activate it, basically. So now we know we're going to basically locate Grant Lockwood Base and want to. Oh, she's in there. Okay, okay, that's where she was. That seems like a good place to, like, you know, use a recycler charge. We're just gonna throw everything that's like, you know, movable here. I mean, why not just recycle what I can, right? So I can basically get more out of it. There's actually a good reason to actually do this, by the way, throwing like all this stuff out to be like you know, recycled. I really shouldn't be holding that in my hand. That's how bad things happen to you. Very bad things can happen to you. It's got too much weight on it. For some reason, my, my thing's starting to lag here a little bit, but whatever.
Is this gonna break? So whatever. You know, I find funny that with like light items like this, like you have like you know issues with, like moving around. I am feel as like those pizza boxes really far, but you know. The problem with like, you know, the mechanics of this game is that like, you know, you're basically slow down when removing something. The walk, basically. That here. All right, just be like enough right here to like you know get a good recycling from. Reduce, reuse! Recycle! Pretty good haul. Alright, so. I can't fix that, of course, because I basically don't have access to um, repair skills, so... There's a weaver in here? Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. Well, I have access, access to Blackfish free, I guess. Alright, since I know basically know that, that guy's right there. Deploying. Alien threat detected. I actually want to fabricate some cubing cells to basically fight that thing, so. We're just gonna make a few of them. Yeah, I doubt I would be killed, so... Well, oh, apparently Andrew Gray got turned into a thing right there. By the way, weavers can't like do that if they if they, if they feel threatened. They can, like can turn other people into like you know phantoms. So all right, well it's running away. Where it run to? Seriously, where does Weaver run to? What's this fun? I got Weaver on a loose. Somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. Now, I got the Q-beams for this guy, because basically, Weaver's basically, like, you know, 
Die so easily to this. Crap, I need this stuff. Okay, then hit the um reactor stuff there, but whatever. Alright, well, we got rid of the Weaver. Knows that turning like an air corpse into like, you know... What do you call it? Into a, like, you know, a, a phantom? All right, well. That was fun. I'll need that mech will operate now, but whatever, it's fine. Scanning target, no alien material detected. This is fine, a corpse here. See, so yeah, here's basically like, you know, the security officer. All of this stuff we can basically pick up in here, I guess. Now, I was sort of wondering how many, like, Q-beam cells, basically, like, you know, it takes to charge up the Q-beam. I guess it's, like, you know, about 100, like, you know, Q-beam, like, you know, cells, basically, it charges up once. That's good to know. I actually don't really use the Q-beam that much, by the way. I find it's like one of those weapons that, like, you know, it's useful, but, you know... Yeah, that's a little too damaged, really, to worry about. Gonna close that off for a moment. Hello, Doctor Yu. Let's throw the side hype one here, I guess. That had no integrity that shotgun apparently, so must have been a really bad shotgun uh the can was basically running around with, but oh well. Just stuff. All right. Well, I know this point. Let's read some emails and stuff. All right. So there's some files. Basically, got you know charge plans. There's a treasure hunt map for like you know. Melindra. Now, I'll basically note that all these places, they have, like, you know, maps here for, like, different parts of the station. And if you want, if, if you basically find a guy, it'll basically help you a lot if you basically find out where the maps are. But whatever. So, I'll note basically have, like, stuff right here. Oh, I want this rogue operator bit right here. 
Note that January is based on Rob Rogue Opera she's gonna be talking about in this email here. Oops. Got that apparently. Alright, I've wasted enough time to like, you know, exploring around here. I think everything's basically dead, so let's go to the security booth at this point. Ah, uh, everything is locked in this game. At least all the good stuff is locked. Alright, so. I'll note that this basically grants you access to, like, in here. Google door error. Well, no idea what the Krigal Door error is basically for, but, um... We got milks and stuff to, to do with, I guess. You know, I think the gun's gonna kill it. Or not in detective, but whatever, that's fine. I killed it. Scanning target, no alien material detected. That's a lie, but oh well. You know, think about it, do I actually have actually anything to like you know get rid of burn tram and stuff like that? Like skin graft? You know, it's funny. Burn, burns are like a, a common thing in this game, but I don't have access to like the skin graft thing in here. So I'm like reduced to eight percent health as all that. Guess I'll be finishing up this episode soon, but um, oh well. We're just gonna throw this in here, we'll throw this basically in here. Now, I've actually been wanting to basically, like, you know, get this achievement, so... There's a Mimic right there. This seems like a very good um, opportunity basically to, like, you know, show off, like, you know... Minus this, basically. I wanted to actually do this in like the previous episode, but I didn't realize that you need know, like a morph mimic to do it, so we're just gonna grab this right here. And let's get like minus this done right now. And down the ground I go. You're not what they say you are. Can you hear us? Rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them up like an antivirus. Alright, so. How does it feel? Do you remember? The first time you said it was like you were outside yourself, like time itself had bent its knee, waiting for you to decide. You moved my. Alright, well, that's enough of that. So yeah, I want to note that basically, like, you know, that's how I basically do my message, you have to, like, find a mimic, like, mimic, so to speak. I'm, mimic I'm mimicking something, so... There we go. Got that achievement right there. And we've, like, backed up, like, no morph abilities. Oh, I know this is now staying up because, you know... This is how this game rolls.
Alright, so, I know this is going to be, like, the end of, like, this episode. Basically, like, the next one will be basically jumping into, like, the central propulsor here to, like, you know, basically join the like, next bit. And then we'll have some fun space. Yeah, that's always fun, but whatever. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and take care.